hello guys uh, in this video i will tell you what is error bar and why we are doing uh, plotting error bars in the graph by the help of origin uh, so in this lecture uh, we will have what is error bar in graph when is error bar is required in a graph why is error bar shown in a graph how to draw error bar in a graph okay so before uh, moving forward to all these points uh, I will tell you why we are doing this lecture because in July 2019 uh, a paper has been published in Hindavi journal and uh, the title was this monitoring of sports health indicators based on variable nano biosensor uh, it was well talk paper uh, because this has be this paper has used T as C you can uh, see T here so this T has been used as error bar this paper has been reviewed and published but somebody noticed this thing and then reported to the uh, journal you can see here uh, this is this is this image is from the journal and then uh, the journal has retracted this uh, paper so to avoid all uh, ki this kind of hassle it's better to have the idea about about the error bar uh, before telling you about the error bar need of the error bar i want to uh, tell you that please like and subscribe my channel okay so what is error bar in a graph error bar are used to indicate the estimated error in a measurement or an error bar indicates the uncertainty uh, in a value so what what it means uh, suppose you are uh, doing any experiment okay and the same experiment you have followed multiple times four times five times or ten times uh, so every time when you are getting the different results so what you will do you can take an average value of all the results so consider this is the average value 36 okay so then what was the upper limit suppose your data was giving the average value 36 and you uh, tested it 10 times and every times it is showing sometimes it is showing 37 sometimes it is showing 40 okay and uh, the lower limit was 34 okay so this upper error will become 4 and lower error will become okay so this is the range of the error similarly for 28 like this so it, it depends on you what kind of experiment you are uh, doing and how you are doing and uh, so you will get this error so when this error bar is required so definitely whenever you do multiple times your testing you when you and you are getting different data okay different results each time so this is called the uncertainty of the value so this uncertainty of the value you need to express in uh, your graph okay so in your graph so whatever your graph whether it is bar chart line chart or scatter plot okay so you can use this error error gra uh, graph so error bar so this can be used in any form uh, or bar chart or line chart okay uh, so this is also called standard error or standard deviation also okay so you can use this one so for bar chart and line chart you can use the vertical upper limit this is the vertical upper limit and this is the vertical lower limit lower error not limit and uh, for a scatter chart it will be horizontal so this will become your vertical sorry horizontal upper if you take it uh, from here like this if you take it from here okay so this will be your upper horizontal limit and if you take it like this so this will become your lower horizontal limit in scatter plot only okay so generally uh, in uh, research paper publications we use line chart or bar chart scatter bar scatter plots are used in specific cases okay now why is error bar season so i already uh, told you okay uh, told you that why we are doing this whenever uncertainty of the data but this error bar means if your bar is long okay it means you are having uh, uh, big errors okay the average value which has been calculated that is uh, uh, that is means giving you big errors okay so you can see for an average value a long error bar means 
here you can see this long error bar is it's means showing upper error is having four and lower error is two okay so long error bar means that the concentration of the value the average was calculated on is low and thus that the average value is uncertain okay so uh, very long error bars are always avoided so uh, i hope you got it uh, what is error bar why we using this error bar what is the purpose of using this error bar okay so now let's move to the how we draw this error bar uh, signal so let's move to our origin window okay guys so this is our origin window you can see here this is our origin window i have put some data so I consider it that we are doing for the seat resistance okay so i have taken sample 1 sample 2 sample 3 so the average the seat resistance average value i have considered 10 kilo ohm 12 kilo ohm 15 kilo ohm and i have given that uh, the error is 1 kilo ohm uh, the upper limit is 1 kilo ohm lower limit is 2 kilo ohm here 2 1 3 uh, 3 2 okay so whatever you want to to take if you want to take a very big values you can take uh, whatever you want to take okay so how we will do this one so first we need to set this bar as error y error okay similar way here uh, in uh, many videos you have seen this uh, error bar but what they are doing they are taking the same value 1 1 uh, upper and lower limit and just uh, setting as uh, error and uh, plotting it but whenever you have the variable means upper limit is different and lower limit is different so then in this in this case how to draw this uh, graph according to the general papers okay so whatever i am telling you it is according to the general paper how general papers uh, wants the images so that's why i am telling you so we have set it as yeah, i already told you this set y error okay so we already set it as y error so here we can put this is our upper limit so we can put here plus sign and this is our lower limit so we can put here minus sign okay we can put here minus sign so that uh, it will be very clear for us okay so now let's just take uh, just select it and uh, draw the bar bar plot so here you will see see this is the seat resistance in kilo ohm okay and these are the bars okay now here you can see here are four cut points so what is the pro uh, why they are are four because this plot is for all the plus values and all the minus values okay so if you go to the worksheet you can see here okay this one is in plus also and this one is in minus also similarly this two is in plus also and uh, and minus also means upper limit and lower limit both both the places you will have the uh, line for two okay so what the, so our next task is to remove this lines so let's go to the graph now just click double click here okay so this window will be open okay now see here let's just a minute uh, we need to expand it so that we can see the whole thing yeah okay no need to expand we can click okay so this is our you can see see this minus sign see here is one minus sign after ohm y simple minus sign here you can see plus sign ohm y uh, in inverted commas uh, there is plus sign okay here okay so this is having plus sign see plus sign y e r okay plus sign y e r okay so here is plus sign so what you need to do here you need to keep plus sign and remove the minus sign okay and apply it see the minus sign has been removed okay similar way this click here okay now here is minus so keep minus sign and see here plus sign remove this plus sign apply and okay okay so this is your graph with uh, with error here see 1 and 2 so you can verify it upper is 1 and lower is 2 okay for sample 2 it is 2 and 1 so in graph you see 2 upper is high and lower is down here upper is 3 and lower is 2 you can see also 3 and 2 so this is the right way to plot the uh, graph 
so as i already told you in my previous video uh, you need to prepare your figure as per your general paper so you you need to uh, draw the borders of all the uh, corners so we will do it like this uh, you can check it in my other uh, video okay so like this this will be you can increase the font size make it 26 you can make it 26 here okay and these numbers can be make it 24 okay so now you can use this if you want to delete this a you can delete this one so now you can use it uh, for the general papers okay you can export it and you can easily use this uh, for your so similar way if you want to do it suppose if you want to do it uh, for the line plot so you need to do it same way okay so this is your line plot and you double click on it and same thing you need to do since it is showing plus y e r so just keep plus remove minus and apply here and apply similar way you will do here here is minus so just remove this plus okay apply and okay now you see two is lower and one is upper like this this is the same and you need to again make uh, the borders of this figure okay so you can do it so i hope you got how to draw why why we are doing this thing uh, and i hope you will not do such kind of silly mistakes okay now you know very clearly why we are doing this uh, uh, for your uh, general paper publication why we are doing this error bar graph so thank you guys uh, i again want to tell you please like and subscribe my channel and do share with your friends thank you